Hello, everyone. My name is Jan Welch, and you're watching the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some frames that came in the mail yesterday. And these are from the new Everything Company. It's their coconut milk frame. And about, I don't know, several months ago, they posted that they were selling a pre-order of these frames for $50. So I couldn't pass up the deal because they're usually 75 bucks. And I've been waiting and waiting. And they finally showed up, and I'm super stoked on them. Well, I think I'm going to be stoked on them. I actually haven't seen them yet. But they have some custom tape they made for the coconut milk, which is pretty cool. Some cool attention to detail and a little smiley face. Uh, why, Coco? I am still going by Then and Now Blading to answer your question. But Then and Now Blading is mainly the podcast. And today we're doing an unboxing video. So that's what's going on today. And Basically, has anyone got these frames? Has anybody skated these frames? Let me know in the live chat. I'd love to hear if, what you think about them. Um, I've never skated them before. I've seen them. My friend Michael Kraft skates them. My friend Jody skates them, and they both like them a lot. So that's one reason I actually bought them. So let's go ahead and just pop this open, see what it looks like. Got my razor blade. Got to be careful. All right, so inside the box, we have a hand-numbered image. And from what I can tell, this is number five of 38. So they sold 38 of these. They pre-sold them. And apparently, you're supposed to post these on Reddit. They have a Reddit group. And it's supposed to make an image. So here we have... What's on Reddit so far? These two images here. Let's go to the beginning. So anyway, this is going to be a third. I'll go ahead and post on Reddit later. We have number 14, number 16, and this is number five. So hopefully everybody posts them on Reddit so we can see what the image is. So that's that again. Got a little sticker of the frame. And then, obviously, what we're here for is the frames themselves, packaged in some bubble wrap sleeves, which is very nice. We've got the other one here. All right. So, this is the frame. You can see it's got the custom... Bolts, a lot of people have been kind of bitching about the bolts because they say, what's if you lose them? What are you going to do? Well, I've never lost a bolt, so the chance of that happening is pretty slim. There's a higher risk of stripping them, but I've stripped very few bolts, so I think you'll pretty much be fine. It would be just be bad luck if you had any issues with these bolts. The other sides are standard, so you only need one wrench. Uh, these little frame walls things are interesting. See those? Oh, what? You know what? I don't know what these are. Oh, you take these out. I think those are just to keep them straight. That's what it is. So on their Instagram, they posted photos and videos of them curing these frames. And they had them bolted in through each so they didn't flex, and in the curing process, so I'm sure I, I'm pretty sure that's what these little things were, is to hold them open so they don't shrink improperly, which would suck. But they look cool. They're pretty light. Actually, they're very light. And what's really cool about these is the groove is very unique to this frame. I've heard some people saying that they catch this little edge here which I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. We'll see. But I could see that happening. They fit a 60 millimeter max, but it's suggested to ride 58 millimeter on these. And I don't think I have any 58 millimeter wheels. I have some 60s, um, but I think I'd rather ride 58. So I'm going to have to get some wheels this week to go on these skates. And I think I'm going to put these on my farmer sways. Um, and Wyco Wyco Belator says they're like Abel's 
with juice blocks had a baby? Kind of, yeah. Able frames, I didn't like the sidewalls in able frames. See, these are a lot thinner sidewalls. The able frames had that big kind of tumor on the whole side of them that I didn't really like that much. But I can see what you're saying with that. Now, these frames are $75 if you want to buy them. I have a link in the description below. You can check them out on their website here. Oh, they have two links, 250 millimeter and 270. These are the 270 millimeter because I wear 10 and a half, so I have the bigger frame. Um, and let me see. Yeah, 58 millimeter flat setup will keep things nimble on ground while the V-shaped groove makes for worry-free fun on rails and ledges, even the T-neck font bolts are adding to the vibe. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if has anybody skated these in this live chat. We've got 11 people. I'd be interested to hear. I we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wait until I get some wheels in. So I have these set up probably in like another week or so, and I will make a video at the skate park to let you know what I think of them. But I do like them. I like the way they look. I like the color, which is the coconut milk. They had some other colors that came out that were pretty cool too, but it's interesting. I'm not sure who is behind this. I know it's from Salt Lake City, but I'm not sure who runs this company. Uh, I know nothing about it, but I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Again, I've never seen a frame come with these in them, but it's just detail, which is pretty cool. So if anybody has any questions about these, go ahead and post the live chat if not i mean there's not much else to say about them but they look really cool and visually i'm very stoked on these so thank you for watching this video i hope to see you very soon i've got some new podcasts coming up this week i believe we will have one and next weekend go ahead and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't ready like this video if you haven't and uh, subscribe to my social media. I have links in the description below to everything, so you can check that all out. Uh, and Wycoboot says, interesting, they only hold up to 58 millimeter flat. They do hold up to 60 millimeter, but 58 millimeter is recommended, and I'm assuming because wheel bite is probably a lot worse on the 60. So, yeah. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.